I've been receiving a lot of calls about how to make simple molds of knobs and poles. We had the opportunity to get a hold of some knobs that are off an old range that one of our customers was restoring. So we're going to demonstrate how to mold three different knobs and uh, each of them has their own different twist on how we make the mold. So let's get started. All of these knobs have type, some type of fastener. Uh, one of them has an embedded uh, thread. Uh, we're going to kind of start out with that one because uh, it's one of the easiest ones. We simply uh, bored a little hole inside of a piece of plastic and screwed it into the plastic and then we'll mold that in the upright position. Uh, this will be a two-piece mold because of the recess on the inside of the knob. The second also has a, a little screw. It's a set screw in the side. So we found a longer set screw. We're actually going to bond this, uh, glue it to the side of our mold box so it's kind of suspended. And the third is just a small little knob that has a set screw in the back, or a little screw in the back. Uh, we're going to seal the back of it with clay to seal in that recess because that's really not necessary. And then we're simply going to suspend that inside of a cup and make a one-piece mold for that little guy. For the tall knob, we need to make a two-piece mold. Rather than claying this up to pour the first half, we're simply going to pour silicone into our mold box and fill it up to the line in which we want our mold to separate. That will determine the parting line. It's right up to the little ridge at the top of the knob. We'll do the same with the second knob. You want to be really careful and pour your silicone slowly because you don't want it to overflow on top of the handle. The parting line for this knob is just to the top edge of the oval. And with the small knob we simply encapsulate the entire knob. For our two-piece molds, once the silicone has cured, we need to cut in some locators. This will allow the two halves of the mold to align perfectly. I'm going to use a tool that's offered uh, on our website for doing this exact thing. It allows you to gouge down into the secured silicone and cut in your locator. Once we have our locators cut in, we need to apply about three coats of uh, Lumilite's Rubber to Rubber Mold Release. This will prevent the two halves of the molds from fusing together. Again, mix up your high strength two silicone and pour your second halves of the mold. Once your silicone is cured, you simply peel away the base, trim away any excess silicone, and then uh, with this instance where we use PVC tube, we just uh, squirt a little isopropyl alcohol down the sides, and then the mold slides right out. The second knob here, you simply back out your set screw, leave the screw right inside the mold, and reassemble it for casting. For our small knob, you make a small slit on each side of the screw, just enough to demold the piece. We'll be using the amazing casting resin with a little dye to try to match the color. Lumilite dyes are really strong so it doesn't take a whole lot. Take each mold, spread it apart just slightly, and fill the mold with the resin. Rubber bands can be used to hold two-piece molds together really nicely. Next we're going to insert our screws so that we actually mold in the threads into our parts. If you don't want the screw to be permanently bonded in, then apply a little Vaseline to the screw threads and that will back out really nicely. If you didn't want to try to color match with the dyes, you can paint the Amazing Casting Resin. Once cured, separate your mold halves and demold your newly formed replicas.
you have any questions about this or any other application, please give us a call at 1-800-447-9344.